Okay, my friends, welcome back to part two. So, here we go. We are doing quite well so far. Lovely little sunset going. Lots of nice work across there, and it's created lots of nice texture. Um, so, let me just see if I can get my phone switched on here to get this reference photograph. I'm just going to continue on down here now. Um, when it gets down here, it just sort of fizzles out, and it kind of drags across, if you understand what I mean. So let's let's crack on. Let's have a bit of fun with this now. This is going quite well. And I'm, I must say now I'm enjoying this little painting. It's um, quite a nice painting. It's coming along nicely. And I think with a frame, this will look very nice. A little wide frame on this. Very, very nice indeed. So I'm going to go back to my big brush, my big flat brush, which I was using earlier. This one right here. I'm going to just dampen that in some turpentine. I am going to... Let me just get my reference photograph up now over me, over here, uh, up overhead. I have my reference photograph there. Uh, which one is it? Which one did I get? I have a few, you see. There we go. We're back again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to exaggerate slightly here. Now, you don't see it on the photograph. I'm just going to exaggerate the bottom part here slightly. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to take some cadmium yellow. I have a bit of burnt cyan out there. A little touch of magenta um, I want this nice and sort of a pinky peachy color so let's get some Naples yellow bit of cadmium red perhaps I want to get a nice soft orange you take a look at that ah there we go nice soft orange just around here I'm going to soften it up into that as it comes out to the sides it's going to start becoming more and more pink so a bit more magenta touch of white perhaps and it's going to soften into that blue then you see so we're going from pink into the blue and that will really help prevent any sort of muddiness in the painting so wherever you have blue here and you want to mix a nice soft color into it a bit of pink always helps so look a little bit of soft pink into that touch of cadmium red I'm kind of picking up colors as I go as well as I'm doing this um, that makes a big difference. So just kind of pick up little bits of colours as you're going. I think that's probably the key. Just to try different things. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to try. So I'm going to bring that across. That nice soft colour. As it comes across, I'm going to start making it more this mauve colour. You see that colour there? So let's take, get some magenta. And a touch of phthalo blue. And it's more pink. You see that? Nice pinky colour. And then you see you have the pinks kind of almost softening into the yellows, creating lovely shades. Wherever you have a pink and a yellow, it really makes a beautiful shade when they're mixed together. So I'm going to then pull that down just softly down into the pink. And of course, being oils, the beauty is you can soften colours together really nicely like this and get that lovely soft effect look at that i really like that no that's nice lovely soft effect just there um the same with this side take a bit more of that pink and we can soften that dark blacky blue color down into that color underneath as well isn't that lovely and soft if this was acrylics you could do it but it would be kind of quite tricky to get these nice soft shades Already, isn't that colour looking quite nice? Now, the next thing I want to do, um, I want to create this sort of effect where it's coming backwards off of the canvas. It's a kind of a tricky effect to achieve, I'll be honest. I'm going to try it. I'm going to take some cadmium yellow, mix it into that ready colour. So I have a rich kind of an orange. I just want to sort of pull some rich bright orangey color out from the center so from the center outwards like this okay it's just on this bottom half here i want to create that kind of effect in the water does that make sense now i will pull some of this one as well it's still wet from earlier um, so this knife work, I want to just sort of pull it as well 
down slightly, dragging it across the canvas. A little bit. I don't want to go crazy with this now, but you'll get what I mean in a moment. You'll see what I'm trying to do. You can already see it just there. I'm creating the movement of the water kind of falling back on the on the sand and the colours being sort of dragged across. I'm going to get some nice rich orangey colour now. Just paint on its own, no thinners. Cadmium red, cadmium yellow. And maybe a touch of magenta, just a touch. Just to make it slightly pinkyish. And I'm going to just kind of drag. Very gently, look. Little bits at a time. Not too much. You just want to put a little bit of this at a time. On the canvas. Don't go overboard. Don't try and cover the entire bottom with this colour. So I'll try a little bit of pink in there. Put a little bit of strong colour over on this side. And maybe a little bit on this side, coming sort of in towards that breaking wave just there. So I have the warmer shades. Now I'm going to move to the cooler shades. So some plums. Let's have some nice plummy colours in here. Thalo blue and magenta. And again, this time, plenty of pink again, all right? You want this a nice shot of a ready plum. Uh, let's try a touch of cadmium red as well just to keep it on the safe side for now. And imagine these clouds are kind of reflecting here and there. Just like that, look, okay? So because it's a ready shade, it's not going to mess up that yellow too much. Then I'm going to take a soft blender brush and just kind of pull all of that together very gently. Now already you can begin to see the impression of the movement coming sort of from the edges into that centre point where the sun is hitting. At least I hope that's what you can see. I Look, everybody sees something different. Um, Again, I'm not an expert in this. I'm just somebody who likes to give things a go. I'm moving on to my palette knife. And to be honest, I'm not even looking at the reference photograph anymore. It's there for you if you want to look at it, but I'm going to go my own way with this, with the rest of this. I'm going to take some of that nice rich cadmium yellow with some cadmium red in there already. Okay, you'll see that? It's kind of a marble effect. There's a bit of every shade in there. A bit of red, a bit of yellow. And I'm just going to sort of drag outwards. Like this, okay? Just with the knife. This is the type of effect that I'm trying to get. Um, leaving a bit of brighter colour in there. I need to move the bottom of the canvas out just a bit because it's sort of, it's hitting the bottom of the board, if you understand what I mean. I just want to get this right down to the very, very end of the canvas. Let's try again. A little bit of cadmium yellow. Tiny touch of cadmium white. Or sorry, tiny touch of titanium white. And let's just sort of drag. This will all make sense now in just a moment. I'm going to be softening this with the soft brush as well, okay? And maybe I'll bring a little bit over here, drag a bit across like that. I might cut across that wave there just a little bit because I'm just not sure about it, if you understand what I mean. So I'm just going to cut across just a little bit there, just to kind of take away that wave slightly. Right, before I go any further, I am going to drag this with my brush, starting from the middle, coming down, my soft brush, soften it out, but still keeping the, the shapes of the paint. Do you understand what I mean? I'm not softening it completely away. I'm still keeping the shapes of some of the paint. 
and I could soften some of that white in the center as well just with the knife just soften it away ever so slightly now let's sit back and have a quick look at this so that's not bad now is it really in fairness it's not that bad the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that now as it is I'm going to move on to a smaller flat brush and create some dark waves kind of coming around the ends let me make some nice plum color again magenta phthalo blue little touch of cadmium red so I'm going to start darkening my shades now from a reddy color down into a dark purpley sort of a color going with the red first remember plenty of red or pink in your mix wherever you see yellow so for example um let's just kind of create a sort of a wave coming around like this it's not even a wave it's just sort of the water breaking off of the beach <clears throat> have one there um that kind of disappears like that we could have this one here i'm going to actually darken with a bit of red as it's coming into the scene by the yellow it's going to be more red isn't it so i'm just going to take a bit of cadmium red on my brush and i'm going to just soften this wave like that soften it in okay i'm just being very careful not to make my colors um too muddy i want to avoid mud in my colors so I'm keeping them fresh keep changing your brush cleaning your brush as you go and over here now I'm just going to kind of make this a little random just a couple of random colors coming into the painting over here a bit of red there sure perhaps like that <clears throat> and let's come down and put um uh, okay let's put a little piece coming off of that I simply when I'm doing this all I do is just wiggle my brush like that I'll just give it a little wiggle it's like painting a little snake or something like that that kind of effect do you understand what i mean now i'm going to darken the love blue and plenty of magenta and some cadmium red so i'm going into a dark kind of a purpley shade now over here then just soften that in just along here and there And I'll do the same with this one over here. I'm just creating little wiggles with my brush. Okay. So I'm now going to, what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to soften these at the backs. So all I want to do now is keep the bottom section of the lines. You see those dark edges? I want to keep those. I'm going to soften the back of this into the color behind. So at the top of it, I'm going to soften the top of this into the color behind. Just leaving the bottom line alone. You see? Just like that, look. Soften them back. And to be honest, I kind of not even sure what impression I'm trying to get here. Um, I just want to look nice and I just want it to look nice and peaceful. That's really all I want to do. I'm now going to go into some of the sort of light blues. I want to bring some of those bright blues down slightly on the canvas. So let me get some phthalo blue a little magenta and some white i think i'll start with a slightly sort of a pinky shade first before i go into vibrant bright blues so nice pinky shade here and i just want to start introducing that you see the way i'm introducing this sort of just here and there giving it a little wiggle every now and then 
So what that does is it brings the bright blues down through the painting. Rather than having just one half of the painting with bright blues, I'm going to bring some of those bright colours down slightly into the painting underneath as well. Just a few here and there. Now, I'm going into yellows. You see, I'm painting on yellows. But the trick is to just sort of put it on and leave it without mixing too much. If you mix too much, you're going to mix everything together and end up with a lot of green. So, you see, I'm just pulling a little bit on and leaving it. But it's kind of um, coming together. So, you can see, I'm painting this bottom half without without the reference photograph because it's not on the reference photograph i wanted to add just this little extra bit at the bottom just to sort of face it off and um seems to be going all right so far it's not too bad i don't think i'm just again being careful i don't want too many greens in this so i'm just being cautious with the amount of blue i'm putting on A bit more there, perhaps. Soften it down. And this is all kind of evolving, I suppose, as we're painting. That's what I would say. It's more or less kind of evolving as we're going along. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is... Hmm, I think I'll get my palette knife. I think that's the way to go. I'm going to take some phthalo blue, magenta, and some white. Because the palette knife really is probably the best tool in the box, isn't it, for this kind of work? I just love using the palette knife for this kind of stuff. I'm just going to go along the top of that. And just give an indication of a little bit of form or whatever it is just kind of forming on the tops of those just a little and then i bring that color down to some of this as well and again it's really only just to create movement on the water that's all i'm, I'm trying to achieve with this a little bit of movement it's it's no harm Right, take a little bit of pink and a bit of white and a touch of the apple's yellow and I'm going to start bringing that colour around some of these And by the way, I will be softening a lot of this together as well, so not to worry. You don't have to go this this far if you don't like. Completely up to yourself. But um, I'm going to just sort of mess around with this now for a while, just like this. Just creating little shapes. Little shapes and little highlights here and there. Now, I'll soften some of this together because if you don't like it you can just soften it out isn't that right okay just like that you see i wasn't particularly happy about it so i just softened it away just slightly and that in itself helps you to give a bit more movement in the painting. All right, what do you think? Now I'm going to move to a small pointy brush. I'm going to take some darks, go off some nice dark colors. I'm going to take some black and touch of magenta perhaps. And I'm going to just start putting in a few suggestions of 
You know those kind of shadows that you get on some of these little bits and pieces? Those small little shadows, leave them sort of disappear. Um, they just, they sort of help everything sit down, don't they? And it's simply just sort of um, wiggles with your brush. I find that works best. Lots of little wiggles. But I'd be careful not to overdo this because you can go overboard with this very, very fast. Believe me, I've made lots of mistakes in the past. Now, I may sit back and not like this later on. I may look at it and say, I'm just not happy about it. And just, you know, flatten it all out or something like that. That could happen. It could happen. But I'm just going to paint away. I'm going to paint away for a while and just see what happens. Um, okay, I'm going to go to some very bright, bright highlights. Some titanium white with some cadmium yellow. I'm going to go for some nice bright ones. What do you think? Let's try it. We'll be, we'll be trying to be a little bit brave and see what happens. I'm just going to pop a few bright ones in. Here and there. Just out of, I suppose, a bit of curiosity, just to see what happens. You know, uh, might... It might look good, it might look awful, but you never know until you try. And that's kind of, I'll be honest, that's how I discovered most of my painting techniques, just by trying things. And you do, you do learn quite a lot by trying things and see if they work. You really do. Now, again, I'm going to soften some of these away because some of them I'm just not happy about. Some of them aren't too bad, but some of them I'm just not happy about. I'm going to just soften some of them away. Just a little with the brush. I'm not losing them completely, if you understand what I mean. And I think there's one last thing I need to do. Just to capture the strength of that sun, I'm going to take some titanium white with cadmium yellow. And just to really give this now a serious, a serious punch. I'm just going to go in here, like this, and I'm going to just start dragging again. Like what I did earlier, I'm just going to drag some more rich paint down the center and soften it back out. And then I think we're finished, my friends. Because I don't want to overdo this. I'm afraid to go too far with this. Because there's a very fine line sometimes with being happy with what you have and going further. There's a, I find there's a very fine line. It's very easy to overdo a painting like this if you're not careful. Tiny touch of cadmium red maybe. Just make this a very vibrant, vibrant orange. I'm going to drag some of that down here like that. Now I know I'm even going over some of what I painted already. And that's fine because we've learned as we went along that certain parts perhaps weren't working. And because we learned that, we can then go back over them with something else. But for, isn't that the fun? Isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that what it's all about? Just learning. So I'm going to soften this back out now. Just like that. Okay. How are we doing? I'm thinking one last little piece of a very bright color needs to go in just here.
all right and then again with the brush very gently let's just soften that out to the sides that's quite a nice glow we have there now isn't it and i'm going to soften some of these little light bits here just a little not too much you don't have to go crazy with softening stuff I just want to drag some of them down into the waves, creating a nice soft effect. That's really all I want. Using the corner of the brush. And I am going to call this finished, I think. I fear if I go at this anymore, I might overwork the painting too much. And that's a very real risk. As I was saying, it's very difficult to know when to stop. Um, there's just maybe one or two highlights up there that I might like to brighten up just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, just along some of those ridges up there. And again, I don't want to overdo it, but I just feel if I lighten up there just ever so slightly, it might just be enough to catch the eye that little bit more, you understand? But I need to be very careful. I'm leaving it, my friends. I'm done. Finished. I'm not going to add it anymore because I know if I do, I'll just make a mess. So there we are. There's one thing for me to do. One last bit, and that's just to sign. I'm going to come over here and sign it. Um, let me sign it here, look, where we can see. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this little lesson. It has been a pleasure. It has been a great, great pleasure. Thank you so much. Um, any questions, please do, please do just ask, email me. Um, check out Patreon if you want to become a supporter. I sincerely appreciate that. Let me know how you get on. If you're trying this at home, I'd love to see your work. The email address is in the description below. And just email your work to me. I'd love to see how you're doing. And help you out, give you some pointers, some tips. Um, and we can just have a general chat. A nice chat about painting if you wish i'll see you very soon thank you for tuning in um happy painting and god bless take care i'll see you very soon